Hi, I'm Mr. Simon, and today our focus is conservation of momentum. Momentum is defined as the product of mass and velocity. The formula is easy. P equals to mv. Therefore, the unit is kg meters per second or newton seconds. So, momentum depends on the mass and velocity. A big lorry has high momentum because its mass is high. A bullet also has high momentum because it has high velocity. The principle of conservation of momentum states that the total momentum before collision is equal to the total momentum after collision. There are three types of collisions. Number one, elastic. Number two, inelastic. And number three, explosion. In an elastic collision, both bodies will separate after collision. In an inelastic collision, both bodies will move together after collision. In an explosion, the total momentum before and after collision is zero. For all three types of collision, you can use the same basic formula. M1 U1 plus M2 U2 equals to M1 V1 plus M2 V2. Where M1 is the mass of the first object and M2 is the mass of the second object. U1 is the initial velocity of the first object and U2 is the initial velocity of the second object. So, V1 will be the final velocity of the first object and V2 will be the final velocity of the second object. Let's use the formula to solve an exam question. A bullet is flying into a wooden block at 400 meters per second. The bullet and the wooden block shift together. Given the mass of the bullet is 0.01 kg and the mass of the wooden block is 0.49 kg, what is their final common velocity? Using the formula mu plus mu equals to mv plus mv, m1 is the mass of the bullet, 0.01 kg, u1 is the velocity of the bullet, 400 meters per second, m2 is the mass of the wooden block, 0.49 kg, and u2, the velocity is zero. Since the bullet and the wooden block are moving together, they will have the same velocity. For the right side of the equation, substitute the same values for the mass. And the rest is just simple maths. Just follow the working and the answer is 8 meters per second. Let's try another question. Figure 1 shows a boy jumping off a stationary skateboard onto the curb. The skateboard moves backwards. A. What type of collision is this? B. When the skateboard moves backwards, what is the movement called? C. State the principle of physics involved. D. Calculate the velocity of the skateboard. To answer part A, we have to realize before the boy jumps, both bodies are stationary. After he jumps, both bodies move in opposite directions. This is clearly an explosion. For part B, the movement is called recoil. Similar to when you fire a gun. For part C, momentum is involved. Clearly, the answer is principle of conservation of momentum. For part D, using the formula mu plus mu equals to mv plus mv, the initial velocity of the boy and the skateboard are both zero because they are stationary. So the left hand side of the equation is zero. Now, on the right hand side of the equation, substitute m1 with the mass of the boy of 60 kg and v1 with the velocity of 2 meters per second. The velocity being negative shows that the skateboard is moving backwards. A question like this in the exams will give you 5 marks in total. Remember the formula m1 u1 plus m2 u2 equals to m1 v1 plus M2 V2 can be used for all three collisions. So good luck in your exams. I'm Mr. Simon. I'll see you in the next episode of SPM Top Tutor Physics. <laughs>